Today I will be reviewing for you guys the Yaber Pro Y9 1080p projector. Here we have the box. You look around, here we have some manufacturer information. And on the other side, we have some information about the product. So you can see from here that this has 1080p native resolution. We have the four point correction. We have the iOS cast and the mirror cast. And then we have the multiple file formats and this is also portable. So let's go ahead and open up this box and then see what we have inside. So opening it, the first thing that I see is it comes in a little bag for you to carry this into. Let me go ahead and put this box aside. It's a nice, decent size bag that we have here by Yabo. And you can carry this on your bag. So let's go ahead and open up this bag and we'll see what's on inside. So here we have a white cloth. Then we have instruction manual right here. With the instruction manual, looks like we have some cotton swab and then what seems to be a little screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and take a look into this later and then see what that's for. And then we have a user manual for the projector where we can find all the information that we need for this projector. Here we have a remote. I'm going to take out this remote and show you. And then this remote, let's see, requires two AAA batteries, which does not come with the projector, so you have to get that on your own. And then here we have the HDMI cord. Here we have the power cord. And here we have the audio output cords. And the next thing we have here is our projector. right over here this right here is like a cloth material on the bottom so it looks super nice actually and this up here is like a satin finish so we'll take a look into all of this in a little bit and we have one more thing over here this actually looks like the screen that you would want to put on your wall to project uh, everything onto this little cloth here. So the instructions and the cotton swab and this screwdriver is for you to open up the bottom of this projector. Right here, all the screws that we have to actually clean inside of this because you might, while you're transporting and then just from sitting around, it can collect the dust. So they provided you with extra material to go ahead and do any of your cleaning on the inside, which is nice to have. In the front here, you can see that we have our glass lens and this is removable. And you can see our glass lens right there. Over here, we have our focus ring. So you can rotate, turn on and off, and then, you know, change your focus settings because this one, depending on how far you are uh, or how far your projector is set up, you can have all the way up to a 150 inch uh, screen basically. Um, and then over here, we have some um, remote manuals here. So you have your power button, up and down arrow key, going back, we have some menu setting options, everything right here, and this is touch. And then over here, you have your USB. Two USB, two HDMI, your power cord, you have your speaker, you have your AV output, headphone output as well. 
uh, and then we also have this screw right here that is adjustable so if you have it on a uh, stand then you can adjust the height by either closing it or opening it up even more and then we also have a little filter right over here that you can pull out let me go ahead and pull this out for you and show you and this is like your mini filter that you can take out and clean and just get all the dust out of there and it slides right back in So let's go ahead and set up this projector and then see what all features that we have in this. What is the video quality? What is the image quality? And what are all the options that we have within this Yabber Y9 1080p projector? So I just put up the screen on my wall and I'm not really using any nails or screws. I simply have this held up by tape you guys can probably use some 3M double tape to go ahead and hang up the screen and just to project it on there. But just from looking at the screen, everything looks nice and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the options that we have and go through some videos, image qualities and all of that. So we have our video, we have our settings. And then in our settings, we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, image settings, keystone settings, projector position, custom zoom, system upgrade, factory reset, and language. So if I go to Wi-Fi, and you can just go ahead and add a new network. So now that I have this connected to my Wi-Fi, let's go back. You have your Bluetooth settings, so you can connect it to your phone's Bluetooth. Uh, we can go ahead and turn it on and off. And then nearby equipment, so you can connect this to your Bluetooth with your TV, whatever you would like. And the name of that is projector. And then you have your image settings right over here. And then you have your picture mode and then you have your different picture modes. So you can have standard, you can have vivid, you can have soft, user, and then that's all we have. And then you can also have this set up um, with just, you know, just the way you like. So your custom setup that you can see. So I wanted to show you guys that without the screen, it also can get its job done. It can project on the wall just fine. So depending on your wall color, um, you might have to adjust the color a little bit. But I showed you guys the image settings. Going back, uh, let's go to see what the keystone setting is. So you have four corner keystone settings. So depending on how you want it to adjust, wider, longer, whatever. And then you have four side keystone. So how, how wide do you want it to be or at what angle basically? Um, as you can look from the images there, kind of tilted. And then you can also reset your settings. Then I can go back, look at the projector settings. So you can have this as your front, rear, ceiling, or rear ceiling. So now I have it set up to front. So if I go to rear, then you can see that I have it set up in a different way. And then you have this as your front ceiling. And then you have this set up as your rear ceiling. And we have our custom zoom. And then you can set up your custom zoom as you feel necessary. Then you have your system upgrade, you have your language and your factory reset. So not much more to see there. And you can see the Wi-Fi icon, the settings and the Bluetooth icon there on the top, right? Right here. So let's go ahead and go to the video settings. 
Oh, so these are just, I guess, where I would play my video music and all of that. Um, yep. Single source. So if you're playing from your HDMIs, you would just go here to project it. So in order for you to do the iOS cast, you just need to make sure that your phone or your Mac, everything is on the same Wi-Fi connection as the projector. So I have my iOS device here connected to the same Wi-Fi. So let me go on here and play something out for you guys to see what the image quality looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play some music using the speaker of the projector just so you guys can see what the sound quality is like of this projector. <laughs>
If you're thinking about a home theater setup, then I think the Yaber Y9 1080p projector is the way to go. It's super light, looks very nice. Um, it's very easy to set up once you plug it in. All you have to do is just connect to your Wi-Fi. And once it's connected to your Wi-Fi, you can do iOS cast, you can do mirror cast, or you could play anything by your HDMI. And you can also have a USB connected to the back of this. And if the USB has any type of video files, movies, or anything like that, you can play that as well. I like the fact that you can also have it set up to where you can get up to 150 inch widescreen. The image quality is nice, the video quality is nice, the sound quality is nice as well. I have also used some other projectors in the past. And you, what I have noticed is when I am casting something by using that projector, the image quality is not really as good as this one. So the colors that were kind of faded uh, with the old ones that I have used. The sound quality is crap. So if I were to compare my older projector to this one, this one is far better than that. Just because this has the 1080p video projection, it makes your images, videos look a lot better and the colors are super crisp. And this is something that I would recommend that you guys try out. Hopefully you guys like my video and we'll see you guys next time.